And having this conversation with us this morning is Teringanga. Welcome back to Full Circle. Thank you, thank Always you. Always lovely having you. Me too. I enjoy coming here. <laughs> <laughs> so last year, yes, the world shut down. Yes. And everything, we were so confused. So we didn't know what will happen, what will go where. We lost our jobs, uh, money, got a pay cut. Businesses were closed down, others opened up. And the real estate was also really, really affected last year because we were not able to pay our mortgages in good time. So we're slowly trying to pick up in 2021. But then again, there are also emerging trends that uh, you've been aware of in this year. So we're just going to look at that and maybe you can guide us through this conversation. Yeah, I always say oh, what we saw in the real estate, um, some people were affected, others were not affected. Yes. And uh, largely maybe the commercial because of the office space was affected. Mm -hmm. But what now has um, come through is the res residential. Yes. Um, when COVID happened, we were so surprised even building materials for residential homes mm -hmm. and also the land for residential homes mm -hmm. ready to occupy, it went up. Mm -hmm. such that now um, most of the people uh, uh, because they require more space maybe to build the, uh, maybe have an office mm -hmm. have a place um, their kids can go home to if they're not going home there's uh, less interaction people are staying more at home eh? so people are really doing their residential standalone houses and that is now in the outskirts of Nairobi mm -hmm. so and you know outskirts i mean you know that driving distance that is still comfortable yes to yes. be at yes even if you're working in nairobi working in nairobi yes. so that has been a very major a uh, shift because prior we were seeing um malls mm. um uh, office space coming up but that has slowed down it's i think it's slowed down in such a huge rate as well uh, there have been houses that we've seen in this our Nairobi, specifically Upper Hill, a very beautiful building yes. that has not been able to have full occupancy for a bit now. Yes. We've seen malls that haven't opened since last year. Yeah. And we've seen some who've lost their spaces in terms of rental spaces, people who had occupied, they've not been able to open up or they're not even building more now. Mm -hmm. So that dramatically sort of like slowed down. Yes. They're working you know, from home because yes. even like even businesses, yes. you can comfortably do a online business. Yes. And that is where the e-commerce has, what we call the e-commerce. Mm -hmm. That is where everything is now heading mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. So that's why I always say land being a factor of production. In as much as we don't need the office space, you need home space. So in one way or another, if not home, uh, if not home commercial, if not commercial, it goes to home. Yes. The other thing that has um, really um, emerged is um, people want huge tracts of land out of uh, the, 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 the what we call the CBD. Mm -hmm. So people are moving out from Nairobi to other towns and these towns that, uh, especially the cosmopolitan towns. Yes. So we've, s and most of this land is not in the uh, 50 or by 100 or the eighth. Mm -mm. It is one acre plus. Yes. You're able to afford, you know, it's, uh, the, the prices out there are still good prices. You okay. can get an acre, 1.5, 1.3, others even 200,000, depending on the location. Yes. The further you are from the, the, the town, the oh, cheaper it becomes. I want to say civilization. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, it's just like the farther away you are from civilization then. <laughs> but okay, so that has, you have seen that happen, especially this year. Yes. When people are buying huge chunks of land. Yes. And out of like, Nairobi yes. and even in the towns they go to the cosmopolitan ones yes. they are not within the towns there. They are so they're still yes. in the outskirts. Yes. What would you say has prompted this? You see, we are we, the growing population. Yes. And uh, you see, at the end of the day, you're trying to look at, you know, there's what we call land banking. Mm -hmm. We are by, okay, if the uh, piece of land is bigger, you also, able, you can be able to do something. Mm -hmm. Like you can be able to farm, you can be able to put up an industry. And one of the things I'm also seeing going to happen is the rise in cottage industries. Ah, uh, yes. So people need now that space. 
you don't um you, you, you it uh, you don't have to do it within a busy town mm -hmm. you don't have to do it within a busy area mm -hmm. because the infrastructure is also being uh, developed roads right left and center within the country are being developed so instead of you going to um a, a smaller space yes you can take your industry to whichever town because there's the road Yes. There is the railway. Yes. There is the, there are the flights. Mm. So transportation of your uh, materials or your end product mm -hmm. becomes very easy. That is so true. It is so much better now in terms of movement and infrastructure yes. than it was a couple of years ago. Yes. And I think even when COVID hit, we learned how to make things from the home. Yeah. We learned new <laughs> skills. Yes. So with the new skills, as the business grows, you feel the need for a bigger space. Yes. So your one bedroom house now is not big enough yes so now you want huge spaces for you to be able to grow your industry yes and that is where we're going now yes oh goodness i got people you know making oils yeah and somebody is in mombasa somebody is in uh isiolo and he's been able you know through social media mm. they're able to um advertise for their goods mm. their riders there's uh good um uh courier services yes Especially when now it actually developed well when we had the lockdown. That's true. People now use their courier services. That was the only thing that was <laughs> happening at that point. Yes. Because we are not leaving, we're not going anywhere, shops are closed. Yes. So all these businesses that could be moved yes. to the houses, yes. they were moved. Yes. And you get somebody started with a small space, now they are demanding bigger. Yes. But you can live anywhere. Mm. That's the beauty of it. Mm. Yeah. What other things have emerged this year? Um... Okay, Jen, I can say those are, the, you know, those three. Yes. The commercial, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, the residential, yes. the cottage industry, mm -hmm. and the, um, the land banking. Okay. Yeah. After going through uh, what happened last year in terms of not being able to pay mortgages, are we seeing more people get into that space or are we now skeptical and, you know, probably thinking of, I'd rather build my Mabati house instead of you know, waiting for a couple of years to finish paying for this very posh house in one of the leafy suburbs of this town. Yeah, okay, if you also remember the, uh, the banks also went a bit down in terms of uh, even giving the normal loans. Yes, they I do. know some of the people, what they do, they don't have to rely on mortgage. Mm -hmm. You pick a, 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 a loan, you go and take it to building. Mm -hmm. So um, now with that, people are like, even if I stay, you know, Iyo kujenga pole pole mm -hmm. has uh, really emerged. Mm -hmm. You get somebody uh, a home, it's not even painted, the exterior, even I think the interior. Even the interior. Yes, yes. there's even no fence, mm. but people are living comfortably. Mm. Mm. Then with the hope that, or with the aim that as they get more money, they are going to finish up. Yes. So, and if you look at even the supply of the construction materials in those kind of um, um, areas, eh? there is high construction going on. I think people learned and learned the hard way. Yes. People learned, and some people were evicted. So you've been paying for a bit of time and then you know for sure we'll never do this again. <laughs> I will be comfortable in. But then what if the world opens up again? Yeah. And do we go back to probably what we knew or how we experienced life? Do you think these trends will change again to what they used to be? Amma, we've known better now. We've known we can survive with little. I think we've known better. <laughs> we've known better. And uh, I don't think we'll ever go back to how it used to be. Yeah. Because, you see, we are now comfortably managing to work from home. That is true. Uh, even like coaching, you're able to do it from the house. Mm -hmm. These um, meetups, they really, uh, I don't think they're going to happen. Or even if they do, it will be 50-50. Yes. Why? You can train anybody from any part of the world, that is from true. any part of the country. Mm -hmm. You can distribute your things. We have good platforms, Jumia and the rest. That, uh, they've made the e-commerce very simple. So why go back to uh, what used to be? We either combine or we continue as it is. Okay. Um, when we talk about renting, I think homes were really, really affected because you look at Nalifa rent, yes. if not a mortgage. Yes. So you're in this huge house that you're paying probably 200000 200, for rent. Yes. You're not even mortgaging. Yes. But then life has happened and yes. then you've had to downgrade. Do you think that experience taught us that we can comfortably live within our means or maybe live 
not look at it as wasting money really what we were doing before but now being able to live within the kidogo money that we've been able to make or what has remained from what we used to have yeah by the way that um spending habits P people have changed their spending habits yeah. because uh, you look at it, okay, if you don't have the money, there's nothing much you can do. That's true. If your um, salary or your business has gone down, you just have to move to a, 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 a more affordab affordable area. Mm -hmm. And I don't see that person coming back. Okay. So what the person now, you know, that lesson learned, I should live within my means. I should secure my future yes. because it is now not certain. Mm. Something can just come up and it disrupts you. So what do you do? You ensure that you have secured your future. Yeah. How? Having enough savings mm. and two, taking it to investment. Yeah. Because I said, and I keep saying, the landlords, in as much as we are saying people who are shifting, yeah. it is somebody shifting from maybe a home of 200 to a 100. Yes. Because at the end of the day, you still need... A home. A home. Yeah. So it was just those shifts that were coming uh, into place. And there's also this category, the medium, uh, the middle income. Th changes were not that uh, much eh? mm -hmm. because um, everybody, you know, like if you couldn't afford at Upper Hill, at least you could afford a place like Siokimau. Yes. Those yes. in Siokimau still tried to maybe maintain. Yeah. So at the end of the day, it was just shifting from one house to another. Okay. There was that movement of the tenants. That is so true. Yeah. And we saw also a huge majority also move back home because that happened. And why are they moving back home? Because home, they secured land yes. and a home that was theirs. They were not paying rent. Yes. So I think it also taught us to be able to find that particular space or build a home, get a piece of land, you know, get something that is yours for life yes and that is where you come in Terry. Uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> helping us find these properties and helping us you know find or have our own home yeah how can people get in touch with you for more questions queries and directions to take now that the trends have changed uh, the trends have changed yes my number is 0721 552 mm -hmm. i'm on facebook uh my personal profile Terry Nganga, and um my uh, business page, uh, Property Hall Investment. And I always tell people, yes. please start saving yes. and start now. You never know of that tomorrow. And That's tomorrow true. is not 10 years ago. No. Who would have thought March 2020, things would have been different. And last yes. till now. Yes. <laughs> because yes. you think Mikitu na Kudreta Peter. Yes. But then again, one year, two years in, we're still at it. So yes. I agree. Yes. And the people who are never affected, yeah. at least, had, are those who had done their investment. Mm. And I always also say, please don't be asset rich. Also have the cash flow. Yes. Don't just buy land, land, land. Buy land, develop, buy land, develop. Okay. Such that even if you are affected, you're going to uh, have something you can rely on. That's so true. in as much as, yes, we are saying la buy land, yes. buy land, develop. Okay. And you don't, even this development, uh, having been on this show, and your viewers, let me tell you, they keep contacting me. And I thank them very much. I thank you people very much. Yes. They keep contacting me. Uh -huh. And I'm like, it is not, a, a construction is a bit capital intensive. Yes. You don't have to have your five million to mm -mm. start up. Anza na ile kidogo kidogo. Yes. And you'll be so surprised. And we're actually discussing with another friend of mine over the weekend. Yes. I don't know what happens. Immediately you start building, money flows in. See? When you stop... I, <laughs> <In a disappear. laughs> Terry, thank you so much for coming through and always sharing your wisdom with us. We are going to take a very short commercial break. We will be right back. This is Full Circle with Mikali.